Hello, it's me again. Um, we are going to be working on the theme from The Incredibles as arranged by John Moss. Now, some of you may be already really good at playing this piece and you just want to play along with somebody just for fun. So if that's you, I'm going to link in the description the exact time when I just do the playthrough so you don't have to watch all this instruction that I'm going to do first, okay? Um, if you're new to this piece, like most of my, um, a lot, several of my students are, then you might want to watch this first part because I'm going to show you some of the tricky places and practice them and how to do that, okay? All right, so at the very beginning, it's not very fast. It's just bum, 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 ta, 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 okay? And so they've got that big super triplet in the second bar. Remember, that's three notes in the space of two. Okay, so you're going to play very short and staccato to lift, hook bow, and then right here, short, low, stretch. That's pretty tricky, okay? Now, you might want to try those last three notes in third position. Shift, three and two touch, one comes right behind two. Okay, so I'm going to turn my hand so you can see how that works in third. Go up, three and two touch. Now put your one right behind where two was. And now you got two. Okay, so you can do it that way or you can play it in first position. Stretch. And that's tricky because you got to go back for F natural and then forward for F sharp and then vibrato a long time on four. But some of y'all might be really good at that, okay? Now, in measure seven, it goes considerably faster. The cellos and the basses have this. Okay? So, what we want to look at, though, is the measure before 11. It has TR with a natural, okay? That means to trill. That's not the shaky thing. That's tremolo. We're going to trill starting on an up bow. You put your first finger E down, and then second finger is going to go up and down as fast as you can do it. That's right. Okay, so try that again. Like that. Okay, and now the next part at 11, okay, I would practice this without slurs a little while. You've got E, natural, big stretch, so C natural to D sharp. Now you can play that two extended three. That's a big stretch from two to extended three. Look at that big stretch, okay? Or you can go two to four if you don't want to stretch that far. But there again, can you do vibrato on that four, okay? But it's got to be a nice low C natural and then really extend that three or four low, okay? So let's practice that with two bows on a note. A, C natural, E, C natural, D sharp. Good. Now the next two measures, E, A, C natural, D sharp, C natural, regular D. Good. Next two measures, E, A, C natural, D, B, C natural. That last one's pretty easy because there's no those crazy D sharps in there, okay? Now, when you go to practice that with the slurs, you might want to try hook bows. Whoops, I did that wrong. Let's try that again. Down, up, up. Right, and then eventually... It just takes practice and I would do it without slurs for a long time until you get good at it. Now at 17, it doesn't have slurs. I crossed them all out. Now you might not be able to read that the first time, but I got rid of them there because I wanted it to be louder because at that point in the music, the whole orchestra comes back in. Okay. So I don't know what that accent was. Just roll with it. Okay. So. Big fat hook bow. Down, down, up. That's right. Okay. All right. Now, the next place that's going to be tricky for you is one before 26. You're going to, again, you have minor, now low. Just play open E. Nobody's going to care unless you want to shift. 
Now, 26, very sassy, short, short. Now, right here, you're gonna slide four to third position because we want that slide. Do you see that little line that's there? I don't even know if that's it technically, and yep, it's in the music from E flat to G. And then you just go right back. So it's four. And you have that little tiny eighth rest. That gives you time to get back to first position, okay? So let's practice that. This is three after 26. You're gonna go down, now back. And then, okay? So you may need to play through that kind of slow. I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna play those four bars really slow. Pop, pop. One and two and and. Slide back. And then you're good to go. The rest of that's just some tremolo with some counting. Okay. Now at 36, all right, big melody here. Da, da, da. Lift. C sharp. G sharp. I see how there's a G sharp two before 43, two half notes with the arrow, the arrows, the stems going down. That's for if we divide. So you go inside person, right? And then the outside people would go rest. And I've even made that a solo before, okay? All right, most of the rest of this is pretty good. It's pretty easy. If you look at after 48, that should be done in third position. It's not very hard. Y'all can do that, okay? And the rhythmic part, the last three bars are very slow, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and play through the whole thing, all right? And that way, the people who want to do that, you can. If you're still working on spots, now you know where it is in the recording, okay? One, two, three, and... And trill go. Have a great day and I'll see you later.